G'day, I'm Marcel. I like running. I like growing vegetables. I like eating vegetables. I like climbing. I like swimming. And I'm a mathematician. And I like my maths, and I can find it in just about all of those activities. Here's juggling, for example. There's a lot of interesting maths relating to juggling. In particular, the order in which we throw the balls is very mathematical. There's also a lot of maths associated with things like the way fluid moves over a ball. Interesting for sport, but also interesting if you want to know why an aeroplane flies and how to design a better aeroplane. Not too good. Uh, there's also a lot of maths in drinking coffee. Oh, that's water. In fact, mathematicians love their coffee, and I'm one of three people who goes for coffee um, quite regularly, and we like to shout at each other. In fact, here's where the mathematics arises in this particular instance. Not all of us actually go at the same time. Sometimes someone's not here or he's working on the job that can't be interrupted, in which case we have to organise whose shout it really is. This turns out to be quite complicated. It's not so hard to come up with a method of keeping track of all this. Surely the goal has to be that in the long term, you shout as many coffees as you actually drunk. So here is a diagram that keeps track of whose shout it should be. It's a bit of a joke, actually, a mathematical joke. It's obviously very, very complicated for just deciding who should shout. But in fact, it does tell us exactly what to do. So we started out at the centre of this diagram, and we used the little square on the bottom right to tell us what to do. If all three of us go, we have to follow the red line, which says that the person whose surname starts with B should shout, and then we move our piece of blue tack that keeps track of where we are up to here. Then if, for example, only two of us go down, say B and C go down, that's the green line. Then apparently we follow the green line and it says that the person whose surname is C should be the person who shouts and we end up here. Then, for example, if B and J, J is me, Marcel Jackson, um, go down, then we should follow the blue line, which actually gets us back to the start. But as you can see, it's very complicated as to the various different situations that we can come up with. So we use this to decide who's going to shout at coffee, but it has a serious side. It's actually an instance of a very important mathematical idea that's used to model things like computers and computer programs, computer networks. It was introduced to model the human brain. It wasn't the greatest model of that, in fact, but it's very important in computer science. And there's a very deep part of um, algebra that's associated with with these. Unfortunately, it arises in a way that's too complicated for me to explain here, but it's really not an algebra of numbers anymore. It's really an algebra of various inputs. So in the case of the coffee machine there, the inputs are the people who are going down to have coffee. So you actually get an algebraic structure out of that, and the, uh, the behaviour of that algebraic structure, whatever that means, reflects in an important way the kind of structure of the actual uh, picture that we saw. And this is, in fact, one of the areas of algebra that I work a lot in.